Well, first of all, I do want to congratulate Oregon State. They played a really good basketball game. They're, they're, I'll tell you, that's a heck of a team. They really are. And, uh, but I'm really proud of our group today. I thought we came back on uh, less than 48 hours and uh, after getting just, you know, worked up at their place and, you know, we showed some character today. Came out, played well, played hard, um, and did a lot of really good things. We just unfortunately stretched there in the third quarter, kind of hurt us, and, and we just could never make up for it. But uh, overall, I'm really proud of the effort. Joanne, do you think this is the best you guys have competed against? Yeah, definitely. Um, we came out hard in the first half. That first 20 minutes, we really gave everything we had. We just need to put it together for the next 20 minutes. Hey, you knew leading by one and a half a day, make some sort of adjustment. What did you see from your own that changed the game? Um, you know, I, I don't. I don't think they did really much different. That's, I think, the beauty of their program. They, they are what they are. You know how they're going to defend you. Know, you know what they're going to run, and they just do it really well. And they don't make mistakes. And they just keep coming at you. And, um, and when the time, you know, that critical time, they just kind of put the hammer down, you know. Um, but three of the four games now we've led at halftime, which is encouraging in some ways discouraging obviously in others but the fact is I think uh, you know we can play we can play with with people and we just uh, we just got to get that 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 first win I think to kind of get the monkey off our back and get going Kelly, it was a tough off that first quarter for you guys offensively second quarter lights really seemed to switch on for you guys what what clicked to ultimately give you guys lead going into half um I don't know I thought we were pretty consistent in both I mean you know we didn't make any Three point. We didn't. Even, I don't even know if we took a three pointer, did we, in the first half? Um, you know, it's a big part of what we do. They did a great job of taking it away, but I thought our inside kids did a nice job compensating. Thought we had a good game plan going in, and and again had good looks. You know, that they, they they closed that that shooting pocket quick, but they um, but I still think we had some good looks. And just, again, have struggled to shoot against these guys. So that wasn't you by design. Yeah. No, not by design. But Liz Bowl was about their defense that you know, allowed you to be able to turn a bunch of shots. Um, well, Ruth really sags off the high post when she plays defense, so we really wanted to expose that. We tried to do that at their place the other night and our shots just weren't falling. Um, we got a lot more to fall tonight, so that was nice. But we just tried to find the openings and hit it. Well, she's one of the few players that we have that, you know, kind of has elite athleticism. You know, she can pressure the basketball. And um, that's what we've asked her to do. And, and she's getting better at, you know, the half court defense as well. So she's more than just a, a kid who can pressure uh, in the full court. And she's, she's done a nice job. It's nice to see her step up and hit that three. I think our only one of the night. And um, keeps playing that hard. You know, we're going to find more time for her. Liz, your career high for 17. I mean, I'm from Oregon, so I've grown up knowing about the Civil War. Um, try to play well every single night, but against Oregon State, you always got the little extra fight. Kelly, what did they do to take the Danville out of this series offensively? Well, you know, Lexi is, uh, she's, you know, an elite shooter. She just, you know, we have to manufacture shots for her. You know, we, we actually we have to do that in almost everything that we do, quite frankly. We don't have the, a, a ton of playmakers. So, you know, we've got, again, we've got to do a better job of coaches to find ways. I thought we had some, you know, set, up, set her up for a few really good ones, and they just they didn't go, you know, and that happens sometimes. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it, no, no, no doubt about it. But it was obvious that that was um, an area that they – um, focused on. You guys had uh, 11 steals compared to their four steals. Is that something to just be encouraged about in terms of us offensively? Yeah, I, you know, if you look at the stats outside of field goal percentage, really, when the, you look at the two two games, um, you know, we, we forced more turnovers. We turned it, well, obviously, turned it over less. Um, you know, our offensive rebound numbers compared to theirs were relatively equal. It, it, 
it really came down to field goal percentage, you know, and, and three pointers as well, but field goal percentage. And um, they're, you know, they out rebounded us both games, but when you're shooting a combined 25 or 26 percent in two games, well, you're going to have more defensive rebounds. So there are some, some encouraging things, obviously, we're very disappointed about the outcomes. No, I'm a son of a gun at win or lose. I mean, I, I don't really change much. So, no. <laughs> uh, we're hurting. That's a team that's hurting, though. I think they put a lot into that effort tonight. And, uh, and that's a good thing. <laughs>